Hi everyone, I thought I would do a studio tour today. Um, excuse the shaky camera, I'm holding my uh, iPad. And yeah, I'm gonna show you um, what everything looks like and uh, have a little bit of chat, bit of a chat about my art studio and show you my space. So if you wanna see what my art studio looks like, keep watching. Okay, I'm starting here by the door so you can get a little overview of what you can see. As you can see, there's lots of lovely light in this room. So that's a little teeny overview. So let's have a look. So first of all, as you come in through the door, I've got my phone, um, and this is my little set of drawers here. And I've got my little, little rag doll that sits on my chair down there. And in here is a little pot with some cacti and an aloe vera plant, a little potpourri dish, um, which has got an eggshell in from the bird's nest I found, a um, little miniature art studio that I made in a previous tutorial. I made that vase in a tutorial and then I've just put the flower in it. And I've got this little lantern thing I've had since I was a teenager. Up above here, I've got, um, sorry, I have to excuse the lighting's gone a bit berserk. This is my coffin shaped shelves that I made, which I put a lot of my crystals and little knickknacks on, as you can see. I've got all sorts here. I love amethyst, it's my birthstone, it's my absolute favorite. Um, and <clears throat> let's carry on having a look around. So I've got my comfy chair and I like to have a nice comfy chair to sit on. And this is one I got from a charity shop. I got it second hand for about 50 quid and it's like a fake leather chair, but it's so comfy. And I've got my blanket and my little pillow on there. I do need to get a new case for my pillow. Um, at the moment it hasn't got a case on it. Um, but it's so soft on that chair um, and I like to sit in there and um, it's nice and comfy. In my window I've got lots of plants and lots of ornaments and my Buddha statue, another aloe vera plant. My aloe vera plant is looking a bit weird and not 100% at the moment. Um, I think I need to water it a bit more, I've not watered it enough. Down here I've got my little altar space, um, which I use regularly, I've just got to clean it up, I do need to rearrange it. And then here I've got my plants, if you remember, for Halloween and for most of this year I've had my haunted village here in this spot. Um, but I finally completed the haunted village and um, had it on for Halloween and because I've been working on it for a year and I've had it on this space for a year I got tired of it so what I've done is I've packed it away in boxes so I can bring it out next year and I've just kept a couple of items on there so I've got um, Baba Yaga's house that I made I've kept that out because it's too big to go in the boxes and plus it's my favourite one I've got my little mandrake that I made he sits there too and then I've got various plants I've got my ficus I've got a couple of aloe vera I've got this trailing plant that my daughter gave me and it's got like silvery bits on the leaves it's absolutely gorgeous and it's just starting to get long enough now to trail um, another aloe vera plant that doesn't look well um, I've got my I think that's a is that the ficus ginseng the bonsai but my bonsai plant, my bonsai tree, I think it's ficus ginseng, that one. And then that's like a standard ficus, if I remember right. I love the green on that one. It's gone really green since I've moved it. And they've got this little fella up here. Can't remember where it is. And some of my artwork on my wall. Little paw, acrylic paw painting I did. And old piece of artwork there. And one of my miniatures in a frame there. And that's what this area looks like. Oh, I've also got one of my prints on this shelf. 
that I've got from um, I, I sell my prints on Redbubble so I ordered one off Redbubble and framed it it's one of my favourite ones that I did or one of my digital art pieces I've also got my little xenomorph hides he always hides around by the plants um, I like to have little things hidden here and there that people don't always necessarily know is there and then they spot them I've got <clears throat> my little collection of figurines here um, which need dusting as you can see but I've got like Yoshi, Rick and Morty, a couple of Star Wars figures um, I've got a Dementor I've got Deadpool and Vampirina I think she's called and a couple of little zombies and stuff so I've got those there and then at the back that green thing is like an old oil lamp that I found in a charity shop and then up the top I've got some of my large candles that I've made that I'm not using at the moment I've got one of my pumpkin paintings there and this one which is um, the video that you will have seen um, recently on my channel the time lapse I've got the mask I made and my puppet of Ned Ferratu that I made and then I've also got this little puppet which I found in a charity shop which as you can see I'm fixing him up I've put some epoxy sculpt in where he was broken I've just got to paint his skin to match because I love puppets and string puppets and then I've got my fireplace if you remember I made I made that for Halloween I redid the cloche with like a skull and melted candles got my little um, snow globes I keep them here all year round I don't put them away I'm too scared to break them by having them packed away and this fire is really nice and warm so I like having my fire then over in this corner this is my little set of shelves that I built myself. First ever thing I've built out of wood, I was really proud of it. It's not the best, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out and it works for what I wanted. I just wanted some little narrow shelves that I could put like my dolls on and stuff. And then obviously all around here is all stuff I've made. Um, I've got like a little, oh, that was the first little miniature art studio I made. Um, some of my dolls that I've repainted some of my old masks that you'll have seen on previous tutorials although I've just had to take that one down because it got flagged because you can't have anything even remotely controversial on YouTube anymore um, even though it's a big mouth I don't someone's decided it was too scary and reported it so it got demonetized so I took it down I've got some more of my dolls there uh, a very old skull picture I did with um uh, derwent drawing crayons years ago that i framed and what i use for frames is i go to charity shops and i find frames and i get them from the charity shop my two more antique um string puppets uh they're some ones i got from an antique shop i think they were like 25 quid for the two or something like that. i can't remember how much it was they were a birthday present because um, I like going in little antique shops and finding interesting things and I liked how ugly these were just made me laugh how, how ugly they were I was like I had to have them so I cleaned them up like dusted them off like just I just wiped them gently with um, cloths and uh, to get the dust off I've got my demon baby and Jack and Sally that I made my one of my books that I've made that's my recent spooky doll that I made right there. It's a picture my nephew did for me. And then I've got some of my little teddy collection here. I've got like a fug fugler, which I think are hilarious. Um, Kermit, and this is like from the 70s, this Kermit, and it's exactly the same as one I used to have when I was a, like a toddler. And I managed to find him in a charity shop and decided he should come and live with me. Um, sweep was always my favourite out of the sooty show when I was a kid and I used to have a sweep puppet um, but sadly it all disintegrated and rotted but I found this guy at a charity shop as well and this guy and I've always loved E.T. E.T. was my favourite film as a kid 
and I've got a teddy bear I've got upstairs a VT which I had since I was five years old and I'm now 42 and when I was a kid everywhere I went ET went and I found this little mini ET and decided I had to adopt him as well I've got my um, bookcase miniature model thing um, my book nook that I made uh, I've got the Where's the lights? I can't, I can't remember where the lights are. Hold on. Whoop. Come here, out the way. I've got stuff everywhere. Where do I turn you on? Ah, there it is, it's the back. I can't remember where to put the lights. That's my little book nook. made it look like a little snowy street in the dark um, and I've put some little micro LEDs in there to light it up and that sits there on the bookshelf with my fuggler and my spooky doll on top if you remember the spooky doll it was a broken china doll I was given that was found in my friend's house um, not a valuable one or anything, obviously, it was already broke as well, so I smashed it up more and made it look spooky. Um, I've got all sorts of books here, I've got sketchbooks, I've got like, um, create this book, wreck this journal, um, The Imaginary World of by Kerry Smith. I've got a lot of Kerry Smith books and a lot of books where it's like, they give you drawing prompts and you complete them. I find them quite useful if I'm having like, artist block and can't think what to draw. Um, boring things like all stuff for tax in there for Fung's Muses. Then I've got my one of my lights. I've got two of these. These are the ES DDI lights. That's what I use to light everything when I'm filming. This is the one that's always permanently pointed at my desk. And then if I need more light, I've got my second one there. They came in a pack of two. And there's also a spare tripod at the back. Here's where my snails live. This is my snail tank and just above there I've got a nighttime thing that I did. I used to have this as a backdrop for Tumbledown Cottage um, and in the dark you can just see the stars and the moon, it looks really cool so I've left it. And some of the little things I've made like the little altar decorations and I've got my little, um, what do you call it, beanie baby um, snail there. I seen, saw that at the um, car boot and it had to come and live with me. And I absolutely adore snails. And there's Rick busy eating some mango. Simon's there in the pot at the back. Morty's in that pot. Uh, Theodore, that looks like he's, um, no not Theodore, Alvin's there on the roof. And Theodore. Uh, He's hiding. Theodore's probably on the roof as well. Rick was halfway up the wall earlier, but he's uh, decided to come back down and have some more mango. I've found with my snails, they don't always want the mango straight away, but I've found if I leave the mango so it's started to soften, so it's a, like, a little bit overripe, they absolutely love it. So I've had a good munch of that. Sorry about the reflections, it's really sunny today. Here I've got one of my art trolleys and at the bottom is canvas and then all my acrylic paints are in the middle shelf I've also got like a projector thing down the side there that's so you can project your artwork onto like a wall to make like a bigger version or turn it into like a, um, a mural quite useful and then my little TARDIS down there because I like Doctor Who in there's my pencil cases um, some more acrylic paints and my hoo hoo markers and I've got an old towel which I use as a cloth when I'm painting then over here is my art desk which I've recently recovered it used to be the colour that you can see it on the left there because that's like the slidey out drawer that slides out from underneath and I do need to cover that at some point to make it match um, but I've recovered it recently so it's nice and black now and it doesn't show up the marks as bad 
and I find it's a little bit better for filming. And I've got like books and paper and stuff down underneath and paper towel and all sorts of stuff around and underneath the front the underneath the top there's like sheets of watercolour paper and all that sort of thing notebooks and um all that sort of stuff there and uh, my book of shadows as well and these are some little calcium biscuits i make for the snails which i'm currently giving them and sharpener and that's that skull i painted not so long back on my desk itself i've got my cute pencil case a little sort of mini altar setup this is like an oracle card that i drew recently and i've kept it up it's all about letting your your sort of talent letting your um letting yourself shine and i quite, I quite like that as like a reminder to sort of you know just keep going and you know let people see what i create and you know let my creativity flow i've got my astronomy school there and a little sort of um it's like a sitting down skeleton in like a sort of yoga pose there was like several different poses and this is where i buy halloween stuff and then it ends up being year, year round um decorations because i like skeletons and skulls and stuff um i've got loads of my artwork on the walls um, which you have all seen in previous videos and um, my my collection of little hats and there's a couple of top hats and my witch's hat that I made well I didn't make it I decorated it uh, mini potion bottles that I've made you can see there my little mini perfume storage and another one I've turned into shelves these are all made out of all the frames from charity shops my monster head, my Dremel for when I'm sanding stuff, and my air gun, and I've got more miniature stuff that I've put on the shelves there, and then there's some of my bottles with like herbs and things in that I use. And next to my, uh, my hot glue gun's always on my desk there as well. Then next to my desk is where I've got loads of stuff. There's all um. On the bottom is all like wood and different things for making miniatures. Middle shelf is more stuff for making miniatures and glue and resin. Top shelf has got like my compressor for my air, my um, air go, my airbrush, I should say. Um, more stuff for making miniatures, paintbrushes, ruler, bits and bobs, glue sticks, uh, pliers. You know, all my tools basically that I use regularly are all in this trolley. And then like all my painting stuff is in that one so when i'm painting i'll wheel that one over so i can reach all my paints because i couldn't fit everything in one so i bought two i did think i'd bought two the same color but obviously i didn't when i was in the shop i thought my original one was this um like sort of mint green color turned out it was blue but never mind they go well together on the back of my door which goes into the rest of the house i've got my besom that i made some witch bells and my Christmas wreath. Basically, I didn't want to pack it away in a box because I didn't want it to get broke, so I've left it out year round. It just hangs on the back of my door where it's nice and safe out of the way. And then what I'll do for Christmas when I decorate the living room, I'll probably put it back in there or I'll make another one and leave that there because I do quite like that there. And it's pretty. So I was really pleased with that. Then I've got paintings all over the place. These are my sort of more abstracty ones a uh, little piece of artwork there on the wall here is a big tapestry that I bought that I really like and then I've got fairy lights that run all the way around it which look absolutely gorgeous in the night time some more plants of mine I've got a little mini tank there in the middle which has got some snail eggs in because I'm seeing if they'll hatch um, my favourite Monster High doll, which is Elisabeth, is just sitting there in an outfit that I made her. Um, there's Tumbledown Cottage, all nice and complete. Because um, that's finished now, that project. Um, so I just have it on display now. Um, I don't know if I'll change anything up in the future or not, but I'm quite happy with how it looks, so I might just build another one. And I built that from scratch out of some wooden boxes that I like bolted together and 
it was a fun project um i'll put a link in the video i'll put a link in the description to the videos for making that down here is my doll collection in this cabinet on the top shelf i've got projects that i've made um and then the bottom two shelves are just absolutely jam-packed with my Brat doll collection. Brat dolls are my favourite, and then you can see there are a couple of dolls in between that are not Brat. So I've got Hermione Granger there, and I've got a little Alyssa back there. Um, but yeah, mostly that's my Brat dolls collection. My Monster High collections elsewhere, but I haven't got as many of those. Then I've got canvases, cardboard, and all that sort of stuff down there. My art trolley, which has got all my Bratz Winter Wonderland set up for like when I do a winter scene, which has got like the uh, winter cottage, the snow, the trees, all that sort of thing. Um, it's like a log cabin thing. And I had that set up last year as a winter scene. Um, I will set it up again this year. I just don't know where. It won't be in here, it'll probably be in the living room. Uh, boxes underneath, sewing stuff, um, and then random stuff. This is my bookshelf, which I've covered with a cloth because I don't like how it looks messy because it's got loads of books just stuffed in it. But that's where I keep all of my pagan books and all sorts of um, sketchbooks, notebooks, that sort of thing. Um, so I'll show you underneath. Oop. So I've just got all my pagan and witchy books are there and my tarot cards and stuff like that and oracle cards. But I'll just keep it covered because it looks neater. Might have been singing bowl. That's my favourite mug which I dropped and broke so I can't use it as a mug anymore because I had to glue the ear and the um, handle back on. So I use it as a pen pot. My little salt um, salt um, tea light holder, incense burner, my amaryllis which has finished growing leaves now and is just sort of dormant for winter. My other amaryllis has got one leaf left and they sort of go dormant for a bit in the winter like that and then the leaves and everything will come back next year i haven't managed to get them to flower yet they used to be my mum's and my mum got bored of them when they stopped flowering so and they, they obviously they get in the way with the leaves and everything um so i'm keeping them to see if i can get them to flower again um they just needed repotting so i'm hoping that next year they'll flower and everything um but i'll feed them and all sorts for next time and then i've got my other plant here which is weird this used to be red and it's all gone brown and died off it's a oh what's it called i could never remember Ooh. it's like at the tip of my tongue i can't remember what it's called but it's a very strange plant and this is like this used to be like what happens basically is like it grows red leaves and that's kind of like the flower as it were and it's finished now um, and to water this you put water in the middle oh it's a bromelad there you go i knew i'd remember eventually so that's my bromelad very very strange plant and then another little plant there that needs watering i am terrible at remembering to water my plants normally my daughter has to remind me um some more artwork on my walls as you can see there and then my door um so yeah that's my art studio and oh and this is my little my little doormat <laughs> this is cute um so yeah this is my art studio space and this is what it looks like when it's nice and clean before i've painted anything <laughs> and then it'll get wrecked and then i tidy it up again i do like to keep it fairly tidy normally it's just the desk area gets really messy and i need to hoover the floor so i'll try not to show you the floor because obviously tidying up I've made a mess. Um, so yeah, and I love to sit on that chair in the morning with a cup of tea, sit by my altar space, and just look at how the sunlight shines onto the wall and lights everything up. Just think it looks beautiful. And it's a nice, relaxing, calming space, and it just gives me enough room for my creativity because I can spread out on the floor um, I can do quite large canvases on the floor um, or I can, my desk, not the lid of it, it actually tilts up and it will prop up so it will work, it works as a um, easel as well as a desk. 
there's like a metal bar there that you just pop up so it holds everything in and you lift the whole thing up and it will raise up to about just past 45 degrees I think it is um, obviously I have to take the stuff off the top um, so I can use that as an easel that's why I don't have a separate easel in here because um, obviously trying to conserve space and everything um, but yeah that's my studio tour hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye for now